will be starting here in just a little bit. Going to give it a couple more minutes. 9.35, we will start. Just going to give it a couple minutes. Wait for people to get in here. Gather up and we'll start in a minute or two here, boys. Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, what up? Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mosh is going to try to make this a weekly thing. Just doing a little pre-stream here, a little pre-stream segment, I should say. Interacting with the chat, saying hello to everyone before I put my ugly mug on the screen. <laughs> I hope we're all having a good night. I hope we are all having a good night. And I appreciate everyone who's following. Thank you. We will start here in a minute. Sit tight. Relax. Let's get this show on the road, baby. Hockey night in the ice, too. Give me one sec, peeps. We'll start here in a second. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> How we doing? <coughs> oh, yeah. Put that up there. How the hell are we doing? Wash needs some water. We're going to chill for about an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Take a look around uh, each division, talk about each division a little bit, you know. We'll take a look at the skater leaders, the standings for each division, and all that good stuff. But how are we all doing? I hope we're all uh, having a good night. I hope our, uh, our teams are having good seasons so far here. I know my owls are off to a good start. I think we're going to start with the core division first. I think we'll start with the core division and then we'll work our way up. <laughs> Keep in mind the show is just in beta stage, I guess you can say. It's in the early stages. So we're working out the kinks. We're still laying it out. But, uh... Hot box. Ah, uh, we're not hot boxing though. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube, Boston3233, for that. But anyways, we've got a league to talk about, and we've got some divisions to talk about. Um, we're going to start with the core division. That is uh, Moi's division. Uh, I think we'll take a look at the standings first here. And we'll go over the standings a little bit, talk about them, and uh, 
we'll, we'll see what teams are going to make a jump and what ones won't. So here we go. Week one, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully it's not too small. But uh, here are the core standings after week one. Also, I hope you guys like the cool graphics and stuff too that I put together. But this is the core division standings as of right now. Um, we're missing two games, however. Uh, from the Blue Oyster Bar and play the Slice. I believe they're playing that game in about 30 minutes. So we'll, we'll know the full updated standings next week. But the... Uh, let me get close here to the screen. But the core division as of right now looks like this. We got the Mies Jaw Warriors in first place at an undefeated 4-0 with 8 points. Same with Sea Sickness coming in at second place with an undefeated 4-0 record with 8 points. Right behind them is the Kamloop Blazers at 3-0-1 with 7 points. In third place, fourth place, the Puck Chronicles, three and one for six points. In fourth place, tied with your owls. In fifth place, at three one and zero oh, for six points. Sixth place is Chonky Hockey, four points, two and two. And then it kind of drops off a little bit here, as you can see in seventh place with a one two and one record, three points are the Nuckies. Hillside Empire sitting there at 8th place with a 1-3-0 and oh record for 2 points. Blue Oyster Bar, again, we we don't know. Good chance they could win all out and possibly hop up a couple spots to maybe 5th or 6th place, knocking down Chonky. So we'll see. We've got the Boats. The downfall of the Boats. <laughs> Ugh. The downfall of the damn boats. <laughs> I mean, come on. What what is this? Mooner, buddy. What is this? Owls on top, damn straight. Mooner, bud. What is this? Oh, and four? That's, that's more of a worse start. That's, that's worse than a start from last season. I'm calling it now. This truly is the downfall of the boats. <laughs> Fell all the way to the core division. We kept your spot warm. Oh, and four right now in 10th place. In 11th place is the Runny Moose Tracks at O oh and four. And in 12th place, again, who knows? 12.30. 12.30. Yeah, they're waiting till midnight to play this. Um, 10.30. 10 o'clock. Two games between the Slice and the o Oyster Bar. Sorry you play the Slice, but I think we already know who's going to win. That 2-0. and o, That 0-2 and two record. Yikes. I mean, let, 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 let's, let's, let's look at the boats real quick. Let's let's see what we're working with here. Okay. Mooner's been mixing the lineup. Mixing it up a lot. Okay. Meaty leads their team with seven points. Four goals, three assists. I mean... I, I, where, where, where's the offense, for one? You know, obviously Meaty with seven points as of right now is probably your top player. Only two games played. I mean, who they got back there in net? Yikes. Baby Goat Lord 20, 0 2 with a 750 and a 71.15. Caner's there too. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, the boats did get off to a slow start last season, and then they picked it up, made the playoffs. 
But this season, it looks like it's just gone downhill. Big time for the boats. It's, it's like as of right now, they, they they can't establish who they are, you know? where Where's the offense coming from? Your, your top five offensive players, I guess. I mean, outside of Meaty, who else? I, I, you know, outside of Meaty, who else? Maybe uh, Call here, you know? I don't know. I, I just feel like the Boats really got to find that identity. They really got to find out what kind of team they are, you know? Still early in the season. We've got plenty of hockey left. I, I don't know, man. Runny moose tracks. Play the slice. I hate to be this guy, but I would say those are the two teams that are probably going to secure the 11th and 12th spot already. Again, unless we see a huge miraculous turnaround, I... I I don't see the runny moose tracks turning it around. I mean, looking at their team here, it's like, who did they got? Where's the offense again on this team? You know? Shout out to Dom Lee, though. Fun fact, his only two goals of season 17 came off me. <laughs> I mean, not bad. Not bad. I'm looking at it here. It's just... They don't have a goal scorer on this team. <laughs> and the person was funny. Their highest goal scorer is Dom. And that's it. But... Oof. It's not... It's, it, I I I I just don't see the runny moose tracks doing anything, man. I just don't see it happening. Play the slice, same. These two teams, where's the offense? I mean, you've got D Weavy, whatever the hell his name is. Where's the offense, man? You know? Who's your top offensive producer on this team? Your highest total point total here is five points again I, I i hate to say it there uh air jelly but uh it's it's not looking good for play the slice or the runny moose tracks again how i see it both teams don't have a source of offense both teams are you know like where where do they go what do they do there's just nothing on both these teams. The boats, out of the three winless teams in the core, I got to say the boats probably have the best odds of grabbing a couple wins. I, I just I just don't see the runny moose tracks or play the slice really making too much noise, honestly. But there's the core standings. Now let's take a look at the player leaders here. And, of course, the player leaders through one week look like this. Here, let me get this up on the uh, screen in front of my face. There we go. All right. Core division. Here we go. So, as of right now, in first place in total points, it's a three-way tie for first. First, if you want to get technical. For the Misha Warriors, we got Jim coming in with seven goals, nine assists, 16 points. From the Whip City Owls, baby. That's right. <laughs> we have an owl on there, baby. We got a source of offense. Silky Perry. I don't know if y'all saw that silky play he made. Do I need to play it? I think I do. <laughs> we got six goals, 10 assists from the Perry man. 16 points. The mouths are looking good. We've got uh, Seabasky coming in with 11 goals, 5 assists for 16 points in third place. 
Fourth place, we've got Jack with four goals, eight assists, 12 points. Tied for fourth place with Smurf with four goals, eight assists, 12 points. So there's your core skater leaders. I like to see that uh, owl on there. And as you can see, we've actually got two owls in the top ten. Shout out to the captain of the owls, Siggy Wiggy. Five goals, six assists, 11 points. Yes, sir. So, I mean, so far, not too bad. I, I would say out of all the divisions, though, the core has to be the weakest. Standings-wise, when you look at it, the core has to be the weakest division right now. But moving on here now to the Rammer. Let's take a look at the Rammer division here and see what we got going on. In first place, a team that I wanted. I really wanted them to stay in the core. The uh, Springfield Isotopes. I see why they're in the Rammer now. We actually beat them. <laughs> we got Springfield coming in at a solid 4-0 right now. Eight points. Undefeated. And in second place, we got the Blue Line Snipers at 3-0-1. For seven points. Third place is the River Rats at 3-1-0 for six points. Niagara in fourth at 3-1-0 for six points. Revival in fifth place with a 3-1-0 record, six points. Shanghai Sharks, 3-1-0, six points as well in sixth place. Misfits Hockey at 2-0-2 for six points in seventh. The Sayville Crimson, 2-2-0, four points. Wallace, 1-2-1 for three points. Saying the Warriors, maybe they weren't cut out for the Rammer. Ooh, a former co core team. Ooh. So far, only two of three of the core teams that have played in the core last season are in the top five of the Rammer. Warriors down there in 10th place with a 1-3-0 record for two points. The Cardiac Cobas, Cobas, the Cobas, at 1-3-0. For two points. The GOATS HC GOATS affiliate. 0 3 and 1 for one point. And Cycle U Scrubs are living up to their name of being Scrubs. Coming in at 0 and 4. <laughs> yeah, I said that. But uh looking at the um There we go. But looking at the Rammer right now. <laughs> Obas. <laughs> Cobas. <laughs> Cobras. Damn it. <laughs> yes, they're the cardiac Cobas. Need greasy bong hit. Um, dude, I don't really like smoking on this channel, but you know what? Heat up with City Owls. Stay him straight. Silk Perry, congratulations, by the way, bud. Congratulations, Perry. Second in the league right now. Admin permits it. <laughs> I'm not sure about a a bong rip. I got my dab rig here. But I got my um pen here. <laughs> 
I guess after we uh, talk about the Rammer standings, before we take a look at the uh, Rammer player leaders. Well, do, by the way, we're going to do goalie leaders stats. It's just the issue with goalie leaders, as you can see, as of right now, it's not updated. So it's kind of hard to do the goalie stats. But the reason why I was able to get the skater stats is because, let's face it, the stats we really care about are the goals, assists, and points. No? Like I said, it's a work in progress. Me and the media team are cooking it over. But, all right. So the Rammer division. I want to talk about this for a second here. Niagara. A team that won the core. And I called it, all right? I'm not going to lie. I called for Niagara to win the core. I did. When we played them, they were pretty freaking good. They had a solid defense. Their offense was, yeah. But in my eyes, what really led Niagara all the way in the core was that defense. When my Owls played against them, they had a solid defense. They locked us down. So, I mean, Niagara at 3-1, and one, I'm not surprised. Has their roster changed from last season? Yeah, and there you go. Three guys with double-digit points. They have guys on this team that can play some good lockdown defense. Although I'm better than their freaking goalie. <laughs> Here, you know what? I'm going to do it. Screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to brag. Yep. Mm hmm. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Mosh is about to do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mosh is going to flex his stats right now. I'm doing good. Let's see, I'm 3-1 and one right now, 3-1-0, and oh, 91 shots against, only 13 goals against, 78 saves. I have a 3.25 goals against and an 85.71 save percentage. And I'm 4-3 for three on breakaway so far. So there you go. There's your mosh check. I think you know what? At the end of the course segment, we'll do a mosh stat check. You'll have to remind me at the end of each core segment, but we'll do a mosh stat check. Almost had the fucking shutty in. Ooh, excuse my language. PG. PG. I like to keep it PG. That was my one F word of the stream. But, uh, almost had the shutout here. Okay, enough. This isn't the Owls recap show. <laughs> uh, we're, we're having fun. But nah. The Sagna Warriors, now. Let's talk about them real quick. The Sagna Warriors. Bro, they were a beast of a team in the core last season. Going back to last season. Oh, where did they play? The Rammer? Where did Sagna play? I swear, we had them in the core at one point. Okay, they were in the Rammer last season. I thought they were in the core. But Sagna's a good team, right? I remember playing them back in season 15 in the core. They were in Rammer last season. Okay. I thought they were in core. I, I'm, I'm thinking about season 15, not 16. But let's take a look at season 15 here, right? Because I want to compare last season, this season. You got your... You got your two offensive weapons right here. And real MK... And no moderation, I believe. You got your two top players producing points right there. Right? Who is the goalies? A crazy stalker. Let's go. What? Who is their starter? Oh, wow. Too bad I like limes. Had a solid team. And they had multiple guys on this team that could put up double-digit points. Right? So now, what is their issue this year? Let's take a look. 
a little bit of a different roster, I can tell you that much. Silo, six goals, four assists for 10 points. Outlaw Johnny's been a little bit quiet lately. Real MK, seven points. Okay, so a lot of the familiar names we saw from last season are producing and putting up points. Let's see. Can we look at who is their top two point guys? Let's see. Who who was Segna's top two point guys last season? Oh, so Zylo is a returning player. Crafty Mitts. Real MK. He's 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 putting in the work. So we have a lot of guys returning from last season putting in the work. It's just could it possibly be that the rammer has gotten tougher? Because, I, like I said, I'm flipping back and forth between the rosters, right? And I'm seeing a lot of familiar names. Are they the Seneca War? I've been saying Sangna. Seneca, wow. Rammer got much worse. Keelers are, yeah, that is true. The Keelers are gone. They did move up. It's just, because I'm looking at this here. I'm looking at it, and it's like, Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, yeah, the quality a little bit did drop, now that you think about it. Because Springfield and Niagara, Springfield and Niagara were core teams, right? So if you think about it, now that you say that there, I, I got to agree, the Rammer did kind of get worse. And for a minute there, why I thought it got better, because it's like Sagna Warriors. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Seneca Warriors. <laughs> the Seneca Warriors are one in three to start the, start the season, right? It's like it made me think one of the top Rammer teams starting one in three. So it's like, it, it made me think for a second, maybe the Rammer got better, but then you look at it, you've got two core teams from last season in the top four. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on the Rammer for sure. Did we look at the Rammer skater lead? Here they are. The Rammer Skater Leaders. In first place, with a nice whopping 18 points. I, ne I need numbers on my face. There we go. In first place, we got Sean Destroyer 34. With 18 points, 9 goals, 9 assists. In second place, we got J-Man 2017 from the Blue Line Stampers with five goals, nine assists for 14 points. We got Online W11 from those Niagara Lions again. 13 points, three goals, 10 assists. Been a good playmaker. I'm not even going to try. What is that? PR crazy? I don't know. But he's also been a solid playmaker with no goals but 12 assists. And then we got Drake Millard at five goals, seven assists for 12 points. So there is your top five leaders in points right now. Talk about the Sharks. We can look at the Sharks real quick. Sure. Look at the Sharks real quick. Ah, no wonder they're doing so good. So it looks like the Sharks 
have been sticking with one line, and it's working. <laughs> we'll take a look at the misfits up next. We'll take a look at the misfits up next. We can do that. And then we're going to move on to the uh, sweat division. But so far, is this their whole roster? Is this literally their whole roster? Or do they got, have guys in the back end that are like, yeah, I don't give a shit if I don't play. What about Goach HC? 0-3-1 oh, with one point. They fucking suck. Oh, excuse me. They stink. I'm trying to keep it PG. The shits and bitches, the shitting and the bitching, that's fine. But the, the, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but let's take a look at the misfits real quick. And then we're going to move on here. Here you go, Swayze. Wow. Really, Swayze? In four games played. In four games played, you only have five damn points. Really, Swayze? I expected better. <laughs> I'm right, D, lol. I mean, what? You can't step up and be the Eric Carlson type? <laughs> nah, Swayze, unacceptable. <laughs> Imagine five points in four games in the Rammer. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Damn, Swayze, you gonna sit here and take this shit? You gonna sit here and take this? Why is that filtered? Oh, because it's sex-based terms. Oh, wow. Sure. <laughs> Apparently, that was blocked. But okay. There's the misfits. Let's see real quick. Where are they in the standings? What's the misfits? Two zero and two for six points. Eh, not bad. Hanging in there. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. Check goats HC. They freaking suck. This team is in the freaking rammer. My owls would drop these guys off. My first line, not my second line, would drop these guys off. <laughs> Play them. Maybe next preseason. Maybe next preseason. By the way. Wager time. <laughs> Bruh. You telling me this is a rammer team? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I normally don't do this on here, but Sharks comeback is real. <laughs> is that so? Doodle Link? You guys freaking suck. Hmm. 
Nah, we 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 don't have to look at Doodle Link real quick here. Before we look at the whole thing. Hold up. Doodle Link? Have y'all just forgot how to score and put the puck in the back of the net? This team has scored a total of four, six, seven, eight goals total. Congratulations. Eight goals total. I haven't played yet. Oh, that's your excuse? Cheers, peeps. There it is. All right. Wow. <laughs> well, the sweat standing button didn't work. So I had to manually do it. But here are the sweat standings through one week. As of right now, we have the top three all undefeated at 4-0. As of right now, all eight points. Yo, the Rat City Rizzlers. Maybe looking good, though. That's Nords coming in at fourth place with six points at three and one. We've got uh, the Thunder Bay Clash coming in here at 3 0 0 for six points. <clears throat> Iron Guns coming in at 2-1-1 one, and one for 5 points. We got Chaos coming in at 2-2-0 two, two, and oh for 4 points. We got Mayhem coming in at 1-1-2 one, one, and two for 4 points. Coop, Koopal Keelers at 1-3 and three for 2 points. Rivermen are also 1-3 and three for 2 points. And then the... How did I know the Baghdad Beavers were going to be garbage? How did I know the beef? How did I know the Beavers were going to be garbage? With, with all the team drama they had already, I, I just knew that that team was going to fall. And we can't lose. Oh, what do you know? Mondo. Two games and he's got only got one point. I got to call out my GM, Ovi, for wanting me to sign him. I'm glad I didn't. But, uh, yeah. We have three winless teams. Baghdad Beavers. We can't lose in the Doodle Link. Three winless teams as of right now. And surprisingly, one of those winless teams is a team with a rich history here in the uh, ITHL. That's Doodle Inc. What the hell? My Owls have scored more goals than you guys. My top player has scored more goals than you guys have scored as a freaking team. My top player. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just, just too off. But apparently the uh, Doodle Link is uh, 
having some IR problems here. <clears throat> I mean, I think Drew's the man. Three goals against with an 87.50 save percentage. 21 saves against 24 shots and only three goals. <laughs> Don't open up this can of worms, Mosh. Save yourself. <laughs> nah, that's what we do on the recap show. Nah, but uh, Drew for Doodling starting starting goalie, for sure. Nah, but I see Doodling rebounding here. They're just too good of a team not to be as bad as the Baghdad Beavers, and we can't lose. Nah, I, I got faith in Doodle. They they can break the skid. They're just getting off to a bit of a slow start, you know. Sometimes teams get off to a bit of a slow start. Yeah. But uh I mean hey, out of the winless teams here in the Why does it say core season 17? There we go. Like is this website breaking on me? Honestly, I see Doodle Link probably stomping we can't lose in the Baghdad Beavers. Who have they played? Who have y'all played? I mean, shoot. By the looks of it, they just need defense, man. They need that defense to step up. They're holding them close. They're holding their opponents close. I mean, two goal game here, one goal game here. And all that, well, uh, let, let, let's ignore this 8-2 to two whomping right here. I mean... Doodle Link has proved that they can hold their opponents close. Oh, here. There you go. They, they've proved they have the ability to hold in the game. They've proved that they can be a dominant team and put up a fight. And what I'm seeing here is just... Looks like you need a little bit more help from both sides. Offense and defense. And I feel like Doodle Link has a team to possibly turn it around. Again, six to five, three to one, two close games, a single blowout. But hey, I think they're a team that could possibly, maybe, don't get your hype, don't get your hopes up there, Doodle fans. Okay. It's a maybe. All right. Maybe. If they can continue to play. Close dominant hockey like they did against Night Shift in the uh, Thunder Bay Clash, three to one, six to five. You know, holding opponents close, keeping the goal scoring and tightening up the defense a little bit. I think they could possibly do something here. We 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 could see something. I don't know. We'll we'll just we'll just have to see. But I know Doodle Link has that. Has that hero and that spark on him. <clears throat> like I said, if they can tighten up on defense and start producing more on the score sheet, they got some wins in their future. But let's take a look at the uh, player leaders. The threat division. And here they are, the skater leaders. The night shift. Dominating right now. Night shift's just killing it. 4-0, first place. Let's see. Oh, that's elite. Oh, you want sweat. JC Penns, 22, coming in first place with 20 points, 10 goals, 10 assists. From the Rat City Rizzlers, we got AT, 
Eight goals, ten assists for 18 points. We got Biz from the X Nords. Eight goals, eight assists for 16 points. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but he's from the night shift. And he's got five goals, seven assists for 12 points. And finally, MB Hawks, 85 from the Red City Rizzlers. Four goals, seven assists for 11 points. So there is your sweat division leaders here. Oh, there's the sweat division. I guess real quick we can take a look at one team from the sweat. If you guys have any requests, we'll take a look at one team. Look at the roster real quick. Look it over. We saw a doodle. If you guys, I'll give you a minute. If not, clash. All right. Let's see. We'll do the clash. Well, for one thing, the Clash is a team that likes to spread the wealth. That's for sure. Like 12 players have played a single game. That's not bad, though. Goldies are holding in. Got some solid tendies. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> I like what I see here. You got a team that likes to spread the wealth, spread it around. There's Seaton. I'm just kidding. I like what I see. I feel like this is a team that could make some noise. Oh, nice. Finally, let's move on to the Elite Division. And the Elite Division. Button wanted to be stupid. Okay. But here's the standings for the Elite Division after one week. We've got Havoc, the only undefeated team in the Elite right now at 4-0 for 8 points. The Mutts at 3-1 for 6 points. The Ducks, 3-1 for 6 points. The Quebec Nordiques, 3-1 for 6 points. Redemption. Two one and one for five points. The goats. <clears throat> two two and zero. Oh. Sea dogs. Two two and zero. Oh. Eighth place is lights out HC. The defending elite division champions. Two two and zero. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more out of Lights Out, considering they were a, a pretty solid uh, rear-end team, if I do say so. <laughs> we all know what I'm referencing. We all know what I'm referencing. Morning Lumber at 1-1-2. One, one, and two. Dark Side Gaming at 1-2-1 one, and one for three points, 10th place. And would you look at this? Everyone... Has beaten everyone. Well, not everyone, but every team has a dub in the elite division. Can you believe that? Dark Side Gaming at 1, 2, and 1 for 3 points. In 10th place. In 11th place, we got Hotbox at 1, 3, and 0, oh, 2 points. 12th place, we got Steel Plant at 1, 3, and 0 oh, for 2 points. And finally, We've got Nordski GT at 1, 3, and 0 oh, for 2 points. Well, there is your elite division. What's going on with lights out here? Let's take a look. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. 
We got a lot of guys struggling on this team right now. It looks like this team is in a bit of a slump here. What is going on? They're getting goaltending, though, which is good. The goaltending is helping them out, but ay ay ay. Where is the goal scoring on this team? Seven goals total. Ay ay ay. I mean, I don't know what to say here. Definitely feeling that championship hangover. That division championship hangover, definitely. Where has this team gone? Let's see, what are the games looking like? <clears throat> Two to nothing. They're keeping it close. Defense is on point. They're doing a good job of keeping it very close. It's just... Where's the offense? Here's your problem, you know? Where is the offense? Let's see. Yup. Second worst offense in the, in the division, I should say. Almost said league. Half of Hot Box was chasing tail that lost to lights out. Oh, really? So Hot Box is pretty much chasing tail. Huh. I mean, looking up and down here. Someone requested to look at the Havoc real quick. All right, let's look at the Havoc. Hey, got a solid team here. Got a team that likes to spread the wealth as well. You know, give everyone a couple games. Foams. Wasn't Foams on Lights Out? Hold on. Didn't he play for Lights Out last year? Yeah. Wow. Foams decided to jump ship and join the Havoc. Wow. Ain't that something? I mean, lights out. They're not looking too bad. Their defense, I would say right now, defense has is second best in the in the division right now. Second best defense in the division. But yet they have the second worst offense in the division. Look at goals four. Well, technically now it says it's the worst offense, but it's a three-way tie with the Sea Dogs and Nordsky GT. The worst offense in the division. They gotta pick it up. They definitely gotta pick it up. But I think oh that's right. We've got the uh skater leaders. Let's take a look at this real quick. What do we got? Not a lot of offense in this division. But in first place with nine points. Tied with his teammate. Both from the Quebec Nordiques. Nine points. We've got Elite Scrub and Benny. First and second from the Nordiques. Third place, we've got Crawdad from the Steel Plant. Nine points, four, to, four goals, five assists. That's back UC from Hotbox. Five goals, four assists for nine points. We pretty much have a 
we pretty much have a um a five way tie for first place. A five way tie. Oh no, first place is a six way tie. See. A six way tie for first place. So, yes, the elite is a pretty sweaty division. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think that's all I got for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to definitely try my best to make this a weekly thing. Um, every Sunday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed doing this. It was fun. Managed to fit the show all within an hour. I love it. You know? I'm hoping to do this. Hoping to make this show go for at least an hour, hour and 30 minutes. I know as soon as we start covering the goalie stats and talking about the goalies and all that it'll be a little bit longer so but this is just you know the first episode to kind of a test show as well to see where we're at to see what segments i'm also looking to do interviews in the future um probably going to get together with the media crew the commissioners i'm probably going to have like a a commissioner segment where we'll have maybe mooner come on and do some announcements or maybe the co-commish come on, do some announcements if they have anything like that. But uh, the first episode, I just wanted to keep simple. That's what we did here. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, keep your eyes peeled. We'll get the game of the night out soon here. We're just waiting for uh, teams to schedule their games in other divisions. And then... After we get a good matchup, we'll uh we'll let you know what it is. Stay tuned. But uh, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.